Salute people, Fred White, Tales from the Pen. Before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please go down and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification, and then click the word all. This way here, most of the time, you'll be notified every time I do a video. So today, I wanted to do a little something different. You guys remember the other day when I did that video about the, the dude trying to rape uh, women in the Bronx? Yeah, you remember? Yeah, he's caught. Look at me. He got caught. Snatched him up. Got him. You know, once they put stuff put in your face on the TV, you're not getting away. Not here. Not in New York. You know, especially those kind of guys, because everybody knows those kind of guys in your neighborhood, right? You, you, you know, you know those type of people, right? And I'm glad. Look. <clears throat> Right, because you know, especially some some people may be like, you know, because I hear this all the time when people are like, I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish prison on my worst enemy. I do. I wish jail and prison upon these type dudes, dudes that will come and try to harm you, dudes that will come and try to harm your kids, people that will you know snatch your kids. Those are the worst ones, man. Ones that just could, there's people that will just come up on your lawn. There's people that will just creep through your backyard. Check this story out. Listen, watch this one. Surveillance video captured the moment Salem was taken Saturday evening. Police say her mother jumped into the suspect's car frantically trying to save her. The driver pushed her to the ground and sped off. Miss Sweet valiantly fought with the male that abducted her child. So, so much so that she was able to grab a piece of jewelry off of that mail. Hours after issuing a statewide Amber Alert, two witnesses reported a tip to police. They had spotted the suspect's car in the parking lot of a hotel where Salem and her kidnapper were eventually found. Police busted in the hotel room door and took Michael Webb into custody. Yeah, you saw that? Saw that? That guy had that little girl in the in the in the hotel room for like eight hours, right? You know she's okay, she's safe, but you know let's just call it what it is. We don't know what happened in them eight hours in the in the hotel room. Thank God she's alive. Thank God she's here, and you know thank God her mother. You see that her mother fought, you know, to, you know try to try, she mom jumped in the car, snatched the dude, or everything, you know so. Salute to the mom, because that's the thing. You got to protect your kids these days, right? You have to protect these kids because there's so many of these people out there. There's so many people that would just walk right up on your lawn, right in your backyard, just like it's okay. And they try to take your kids. Check this other clip out. I want to show you this other one. Where are you coming from, bud? Searching for clues with small talk. You're walking around? You're walking around? What's your name? Pedro. Pedro? Exclusive video just released to the I-Team. The video shows Cleveland police last month tracking down a man suspected of trying to grab this little boy, trying to snatch him out of his front yard. His sister pulled him back. When he tried to grab my brother, I knew, like, this was serious. This is not, like, no handshake or anything. I just grabbed my brother. Where are you going? At home. You going to your house? Yes. Were you trying to talk to some kids? No, no, that was my way. Huh? No, 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 don't go anywhere. Police stopped Pedro Luyando, found him on the west side, walking blocks from the crime scene, matching the description given by the kids and their dad after that encounter in the yard. And I said, excuse me, did you touch my child? And he just turned around and threw his arms out like this and continued walking. 27 radio, I think we have the mail. Cleveland police then put the suspect in the back of their car and had the family take a look and say, that's the guy. Since then, he's been indicted for abduction and criminal child enticement, pleading not guilty. But look at one more thing that made police suspicious. What's over there? A report shows police found this guy also carried with him condoms. Now you see how Cleveland police quickly made an arrest and gave a family peace of mind. I truly believe uh, after they apprehended him and they found uh, condoms in his pocket that he had full intentions of harming my child. My heart dropped because I know that I saved my brother. There you have a male detained. <clears throat> so that one, thank God that little boy's sister was sitting outside the house. 
there are people that will walk up and they will take your kids, people. Understand this. I need people to be very aware. Parents. Yeah. There are people out there that don't care and, you know, they're mentally in a different place. You know, does that mean they should be forgiven? Nah. You know what I mean? Nah. It just, you know, means they may try it again. Right? I don't believe those kind of guys could be rehabilitated. You know, that's just my opinion. You know? I got a story for you guys. So, this happened maybe like six, seven years ago. Right? My daughter was little. <clears throat> my sister-in-law, She, we met up. And she brought my niece and my nephew. They was twins. Okay? And she was babysitting three other kids. So we all met up and we hung out. We went to Burger King, right? These kids, they all wanted Burger King. So we go into Burger King in the Bronx. True story. Shout out to Lorraine. So we go into Burger King and we're there. And this guy comes up. Big ball head dude. He walks up to us. He goes, hey, I'm a federal agent. Facts. This is 1,000%. I'm a federal agent. I know all these kids aren't yours. Which one are you going to give me? She start bugging out right away. Ah, you know, that's how that's how she is, my sister-in-law. And I was like, yo, what what? What are you talking about? He's like, I need one of these kids and I need them now. I swear on everything I love. You guys know. I don't I don't, you know, make shit up. And she's watching this. I said, What? Hold hold, 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 hold on. So I, you know, make sure all the kids was behind me. We was in Burger King. And I let it be known because, you know, he was about to get hands put on him in front of cameras. I just needed everybody to say, yo, listen, man, I don't know who you are, right? But I'm just telling you right now, back the fuck up before something crazy happens right now. And he was like, he just starts staring. He starts staring at the kids. So I grabbed the, now he's way, he was way bigger than me now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm big. But the dude was like, I grabbed him and shit, brought him outside. You know what I mean? Went to the side. You know what I mean? Had to put, you know, put hands on him real quick. True story. You know? And even after I put hands on him, you know, the, the managers, everybody came and shit. And I, you know, the people told him it wasn't me. <clears throat> that this dude just came up and literally, he said he was a federal agent. He wanted one of these kids. This, it sounds crazy. This is a true story. You know, I, you know, whatever happened, they called the cops. You know what I'm saying? The van and the police came, but the dude jetted already. You know what I mean? They jetted already. You know, they looked at the cameras, they seen, you know what I mean? It wasn't, but oh, even before that, oh, after I put hands on him, I went back in. He tried to come back in, and he stood by the soda machine. He was just, <sighs> you know, and then he, you know, you know, again, I was like, yo, man, you fuck up out of here. I guess he understood that, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Pum, 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 you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He understood. You know? Because sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to, bow, bow, you know, just, you know, you know what I mean? You got to let these dudes know. And he jetted. And then the police van ended up coming and shit. And when the, 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 the Burger Kings, I didn't really say much because it's not, you know what I mean? But the Burger King people, I then was like, you know, this guy, blah, blah. And they were like, they knew who he was already, which was baffling to me. But these people exist out here, people. These people exist. You know, and you know what else makes me sick? I'm going to tell you guys. I know a lot of you people already saw this clip. You know, the people who follow my tail show. But again, I have a lot of new subscribers. And I want to show you guys something. One day, me and my daughter was walking. Okay? I have this on video. And you're about to see it. Me and my daughter was walking. I'm going to set this up. And we were walking. And we, were sat, we, we saw a baby in a stroller outside the store. Hear me now. Okay? So we waited there. It was about five minutes. We waited outside. And this baby was in the stroller by itself. So I'm starting to get upset now. Right? Like, wait. Because I'm standing there making sure nothing happens to this child. Outside the supermarket. I, so now I start bugging. Yo, whose baby is this? Whose baby is this? And I, this door to the store was open. I went up to the Whose baby is this? And I seen her, and I seen her start, she like, she was on the line, and she like was running with the cans. And when she came out, I told my daughter, tape this, tape this one right here. And this is the clip, you, you, you know, and we gonna take it from here. Watch this. Video her. You think it's okay to leave your baby outside by itself? 
You think it's okay? Anybody could have took your baby. Disgusting. Disgusting. Makes me sick, these kind of people, man. Video her. You think it's okay to leave your... Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I'm not out here playing games with these people, man. And this is why I be telling people, like, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not telling you nothing that I wouldn't do. You see what I'm saying? But she left her baby outside, man. Anybody could have took that child, man. And you see how she ran off, uh, right? And, and I know I put myself in harm danger because if she starts calling the police saying I did something to her, they're going to arrest me right away. But I don't think like that. I'm thinking about this child and the harm that you putting them in. Because, again, it's not just the people who take these kids. It's the dumbass parents who let it happen. Not in the first clip. She fought. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the parents ain't because you think your front yard is safe. You think everything is hunky-dory. Everything is great. Sometimes it doesn't work like that, man. You got to protect the kids, people. And that's what we doing. That's what, that's what it's about. It's about protecting the kids. You seen what I did right away. I ain't care who. I don't care who would have came out of that store. They were gonna get it. You know what I mean? And it just disgusts me when I see people like that. Just don't happen around me. And again, I'm not telling everybody to go out and be Charles Bronson. You know what I mean? Death Wish, Vigilante for you young people. You know what I mean? My older crew knows Charles Bronson, Death Wish, Vigilante. I'm not asking you to do none of that. But I'm asking you, you know the word say something, see something, say something, whatever, in certain instances? You got to. You can't just walk by and, and, and let it be, you know what I mean? Now, I bet you that lady will never leave her baby outside of a store. But you know what? I might be wrong. She may do it again. Because there's stupid people in this world. Just like there's stupid people, there's stupid parents. Just because you're a parent don't make you smart. Hello. Let me repeat that. Just because you became a parent doesn't make you this, oh, sovereign person. Some people are just stupid. And they don't have that common sense, as I always speak about. The most, under, the most overrated word in the, in the fucking English language. Common fucking sense. It just makes me sick. People, be vigilant. Be in your kids' lives. Make sure you know everything that they're doing. Make sure everything, because my ne the next video I'm going to put up tomorrow is about these child predators online, preying on your kids. That's the next one. I'll see you tomorrow. Salute.